Hey, Evgeny is here. In today's video, I will talk about what I'm doing here at Meta. I will present a product that I have recently uh, implemented together with my colleague Abine and released to general population. The project is called Embedded Synap Integration Helper. So, Embedded Synap is nothing new. Embedded Synap is the way for uh, our partners of WhatsApp business platform to onboard people and customers to the WhatsApp API directly from their website. So it embeds itself onto third party website. This functionality heavily leverages Facebook login for business and Facebook JavaScript SDK. As you can see from that documentation, it requires some extensive investment from the partner in order to be implemented. It requires one to go through multiple pages, studying all the various calls that are required to work with embedded sign up, to properly register phone numbers, setting up web hooks has many additional features such as pre-filled data and pre-verified phone numbers. It was not e an easy uh, thing to do. We listened to the feedback given to us by our customers and have implemented a new feature called Embedded Synap Integration Helper. It is a UI that helps to integrate with WhatsApp Embedded Synap. How to find it? Well. This website is called developersfacebook.com. As you can see, my test app has multiple products. One of them is WhatsApp. Here in a quick start UI, one can find a new entry, embedded sign up. So if you are to click on it, you will see embedded sign up integration helper. This is a fairly big and complex UI. It features examples in five different languages for various graph API calls. But I will go in this demo over all of the features step by step, showing how a third party developer will use a embedded sign up integration helper in order to uh, be able to call into embedded sign up display the UI, go through the various graph API calls, etc. So as you can see, on top, you have a section called business and app status. It will check your application here, BSP test to app in our case, whether it's past business verification, whether app review and access verification is complete and whether the app is in a good uh, standing from the integrity point of view. The next section is all about app setup. Here you can perform operations on the same UI that previously you would have to go uh, to do elsewhere. For example, Facebook login for business configurations. Previously you would have to go to Facebook login for business product, but now you go here and you just click create configuration, uh, click create, and that was it. You will immediately create a new uh, login configuration. Similarly, manage domains and adding app roles. Previously for adding app roles, you would have to go to the app roles. To manage domains, you would have to go into Facebook login for business settings or the app settings. But now you can do it all into one place. So no need to jump around different products in the developerfacebook.com. Next section, the biggest one is all about setting up embedded sign up onto partners website. So the first step is setting up Facebook JavaScript SDK. We have two examples and all that's required from the customers to just copy this code paste it into their website, into their front-end code, and it will just work. 
uh, note that we have pre-populated app ID and the Graph API version ID right there in the example. Next thing, creation of the system user token. Every single thing in our system is based off tokens. System user token is a very powerful token. Uh, one have to go to the business settings UI in order to create one first place. And this token will have three permissions, business management, WhatsApp business management, and WhatsApp business messaging permissions. These permissions are required in order to perform certain graph API calls. Not all, but certain. Next, we have big sections on pre-verified phone numbers, pre-fill, and webhook configuration. Pre-verified phone numbers. This is an amazing feature uh, for partners who would like to improve customer onboarding experience. But it required the implementation of three different graph APIs. So first you need to create a pre-verified business number, then you have to request a verification code, and lastly verify the number itself. So quite a bit of investment from the developer perspective just to test the feature. But here you can do every single step right into UI. So I can paste the phone number just like this, perform the call, so I have a choice to use curl example or JavaScript example or PHP, Python or Java, or I can click right here in the UI. That's what I did. So first call is successful. Next thing, how do I like verify? Okay, text message, sure. So I already verified previously. One need to subscribe for webhooks. Again, a bunch of APIs that needs to be called. So manage webhooks right there, whole section. But one can just use UI such as this in order to specify callback URL, provide verify token, and then you can subscribe for a certain fields right here in the one single UI. No need to go to specialized webhooks UI, for example. Prefill. Similarly, we have documentation on this, pre-fill data, and it requires people to specify their business name, email, and etc. But one can just edit pre-fill data right here. So, new, uh, uh, some new data and so on so far and that will all be pre-filled like okay country andorra uh, meta.com set pre-fill everything will be pre-filled here note that the very phone is pre-verified everything is pre-verified session info it's coolest feature ever about what has happened during the flow where did user drop off? Whether user get to the end? What was the WhatsApp business uh, ID and phone number ID used during the embedded sign up? We have mentioned it in our session info documentation quite extensively. Embedded sign up code setup. This is kind of all in one front end code to the point that we have this huge script the, that what we are expecting is the following. One copies the script. We have a link to a glitch project. It is just an empty index.html file. Paste the code, preview in a new window. It opens. I already added this domain into our allow list. And there I can proceed with embedded sign up. Just like that. Yeah, that's embedded sign up. I can select all the parameters, get to the end of it. It will just work. So like yeah, if I can go 
I can go click next, select my WhatsApp business account. For the demo, I will go to the end immediately and get to the finish line. So I click finish. Here is the SDK response for me. I can now proceed with decoding the code and so on and so forth. All, it's all implemented here. Simple as that. But then going back to the embed signup integration helper section here, which called embedded signup button. I click it. I see the Facebook login window pops up and that launches WhatsApp embedded signup uh, just like this. And then I can go through embedded signup as if I would do normally. I will click get started. I will select a business that I comfortable working with. Um, proceed with picking up WhatsApp business account. I already went through embedded sign up multiple times, so I just skip over it. So I select just like this. I go next. I click continue and go to the end of the embedded signup. Great. I'm at the final page. I click finish. And what I get back is the following. I have a response code back and session info login response. So response code, I can then perform the call to exchange the code for token just like this I click and I get a very long token back this is the token 200 characters long string that has permissions whatsapp business messaging and whatsapp business management this token is probably the most important token as part of the embedded sign up flow now I could have called the same command into my curl or perform it in as a JavaScript, but for the demo, one can see that you can perform this right here into embedded signup integration helper. This access token is actually the same access token, it's a very long uh, string that allows uh, encodes permissions. Next thing, I can fetch details of this particular WhatsApp business account. Okay, so that's a name, currency used. I can fetch phone numbers. Okay, so I have a bunch of uh, phone numbers associated with that. Connected means registered. This one is not registered. I can fetch message templates. I have message templates. Pick up the phone and go to the next section. Next section is all about subscribing app to the WhatsApp business account. So this is an app. We need to, we can perform this call. Okay, so it's already subscribed. More about subscribing app to the WhatsApp business account is by clicking the documentation links. Every single step has link to documentation. So I can click webhooks documentation. It will open developerfacebook.com docs and goes into great detail. Next section, payment setup. In order to send messages, you need to attach payment to your WhatsApp business account. So let's check whether it has funding ID. Oh, it has already because I tested previously. Otherwise I would have retrieve system users, add the system users to the WhatsApp business account, fetch my credit lines and attach a credit line. And lastly, I can send template messages to any phone number. So I can enter a phone number here, some phone number and click to send message. Boom, the message is sent. I can check the response. Okay, 
So that was the message sent. Probably person unsuspecting get it. Can fetch message history. So message was sent. Great. That's embedded signup integration helper. Went from all the way a basic app setup to sending a message right in a single UI.